Jennifer had, had felt a lump in her breast um, and uh, didn't feel right um, you know, when she was in the shower, so felt she should go to the, 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 the local GP. Deep down, Jennifer probably knew that it was some form of breast cancer. Just to set the scene, um, Jennifer um, works for a clinical research organization, has um, some knowledge of different types of cancer and, and, and oncology. Literally, I think it was within like 10 days, you know, it was, it was uh, confirmed that it was uh, breast cancer. Of course, you always you know, think it's going to be someone else. Um, yeah, Jennifer is really healthy, uh, has never smoked, um, you know, eats well, exercises. So there's no family history. So it was a, you know, a bit of a kick in the guts, if I'm honest, because it was not expected in terms of lifestyle choices. So it you know, really was, um, well, it, it wasn't discriminating, if you like. Again, lucky for us in Stirlingshire, you know, where the, the Beaton's located, you know, it's, it's not a million miles away. Um, and so in terms of, you know, the support and, and things like that, it was a case of, uh, well, you know, starting from the beginning of just the information. So coming in, speaking with the consultants, um, pamphlets, you know, it, it's all these things you probably walk past and don't give the time of day until you actually need it. Um, and, and then throughout it, you know, simple things like, you know, a sandwich or a muffin and a coffee in the cafe. Uh, and then, you know, I know, you know, Jennifer's hair fell out, you know, she had it shaved. We had some sort of, uh, events, you know, coming up. And so Jennifer wanted long hair, Jen had long sort of hair. And so, yeah, Jennifer utilized the, the, the wig fitting service had come in, uh, I tried on lots of different wigs, so I got I was at work, got lots of photos of Jennifer looking like different people. So, you know, we we tried to remain sort of fairly lighthearted throughout the whole thing. You know, um, never underestimating, I guess, the gravity of it. But I think again, you know, I know in all the photos I've got of Jennifer with the wigs and the staff at the Beats and yeah, you know, the wig fitting services, everyone was smiling. Jen went through three rounds of chemo, and then ten rounds of of radiotherapy. So. Uh, it's a lot of time in and out, you know, uh, from Jennifer's point of view and, you know, her parents who were sort of bringing her in and out. Yeah, the Beaton became a, a, a home away from home, if you like.